This video goes over the Building Java Programs book, Chapter 8, which is about classes, and this is about self-check number 19, a constructor for the name object. We're using the Practice It website, which is uh, accompanying the, the book for free. And this is actually a continuation of 8.7 and 8.11, so let's take a quick look at that. 8.7, they actually had us just declare the member variables for this class name. And then in 8.11, they had us write get normal order and get reverse order. We kind of skipped over actually constructing the name. So that's our opportunity to do the constructor now. So we need to create a constructor. So the first question is, how do you, what does a constructor look like? Well, it's always going to be public because otherwise no one could construct anything. It's, um, but it's, it's, it's got no return type. Normally we would have something like name here for the, the return type but constructors have no return type. Instead, um, we just have the name uh, of, the, of the class, um, and then it's going to take parameters. And the constructor has to accept a first name, middle, initial, and last name. So if we go back and we take a look at how the thing was declared, there's a first name, middle, initial, last name. So by default, people will, will use those same things. Actually, I can just should be able to just copy those. They they will use the same uh, names as before. So they'll do first name and middle initial and last name. Okay, that's kind of the default. But you don't have to. And I'm going to go back and I'll I'll show you later that that's not the case. So we've got that. And uh, here, just because you probably are wondering why do we got these extra spaces in here? No, you don't. You don't need those or want those extra spaces. Okay, so what does a constructor have to do? So one common mistake is that people think they need to return something, but you actually don't, okay? It, nothing needs to be returned because Java already knows that something is going to be returned, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill in those fields that we declared. So um, the names of the fields, are they're these exactly, right? Because I copied them. And what you do is you can say you, you must use this dot first name equals first name. You must because this name, if you want to access this this thing here, um, you need to use it without the this dot. And if you want to refer to the class, you have to use this dot. Okay. So whenever the name is the same, you must use this. But I also tell folks, regardless of whether the name is the same or not, you should always use this because it's very clear then as to what you're doing. I don't want to type that all out. And this dot. So this is a very mechanical process. Okay. Um, computers can actually do this for you. And um, so you should really not have to think about how you do your constructor, your default constructor, because you just take all the fields that are that are in the object. Okay. You take those same names as the parameters and you set them here. So let's just make sure this works. Okay, so that works fine. Um, now, I mentioned these don't have to be the same name as the member variables. Okay, so I'm just going to call these, these terrible names here. Call them X, Y, and Z, which I tell people never use names like this because they mean nothing. But let's just do it so that we can verify this works. And yes, that works too. Um, and at that point, once we have now renamed them, you don't actually have to do this. But I tell all my students, I require all my students that they actually do that because then it's very clear what you're doing. So to be clear, you should use this dot and you really should use the name uh, that are given in the class just so there's no confusion. All right. That's the right way that you really want to see constructor done. Um, so let's review. What did we learn here? This is all about constructors. So um, we talked about, you know, how do you tell uh, tell the compiler that the function is a constructor, and you don't return anything. Okay, the con the compiler is actually going to create it for you, and then you fill the fields in using this dot. Okay, and then you don't have to return anything, and that's how you do a constructor. It's a very mechanical process. Okay. So you just take the names of the fields, you put them in the as parameters, you set, set all those fields with this dot and equals that same name, and you're done. That's all you need to do for a default constructor.
So if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. I have a complete curriculum, the entire Building Java program book, and I've got a lot of these practices.